A coroner's inquest takes place tomorrow to look into another Metro shooting. Back in June, officers killed 21-year-old Trayvon Cole while executing a search warrant. Lawyers for Cole's family talked to 8 News Now about what they say is a flawed case against him. Jonathan McCall is here with more. Jonathan. Paula, on three occasions, Trayvon Cole sold marijuana to Metro officers. Those dealings allowed Metro to issue this search warrant at his apartment. Officer Brian Yan, now on paid administrative leave for firing that deadly shot, killed Cole his third OIS in 10 years on the force. Yant testified under oath all the information in that warrant was correct, but Cole's birthday, criminal history were wrong, leaving his family to believe police may have killed the wrong person. Back on June 11th, Metro officers executing a narcotic search warrant shoot and kill 21-year-old Trevon Cole. I'm not sure if they had the wrong Trevon Cole or if they just used information that was out there with a gentleman with a similar name. But according to Cole family attorney Andre Largamasino, that's exactly what happened. In the search warrant affidavit, the statement was included that Trevon Cole, and they put his birthday, 531-89, has a lengthy history for sales and trafficking um, involving arrests, and that's just not a true statement. Metro Officer Brian Yant, the officer who shot Cole, swore under oath all the information in that search warrant was true. But Larga Messino says the only blemish on Cole's record was a misdemeanor charge in California for taking a car. But it's another man from Houston, Texas with the same name that did have marijuana-related charges against him. If they would have spent half an hour looking at publicly available resources, they would know that they were two different people. A coroner's inquest will decide if Yant was justified in killing Cole. Since 1972, only one officer has been found criminally negligent in the fact-finding process. Many say is flawed and one-sided. With that type of record, no one trusts that process. Activist Wendell Williams says the Cole and Eric Scott cases are raising eyebrows about how Metro conducts business. We've seen a, a, a tremendous increase in the number of issues and incidents that are very, very questionable with police. Officer Brian Yant is found criminally negligent. The district attorney's office can still, can still dismiss those charges at a later date. The coroner's inquest is set to get underway tomorrow morning at 8 a.m.